Welcome back to the Halftime Show on the PAC Sports Network. The Chatham Cougars today visiting the Franciscan Barons, and we're joined now by David Richards, Chatham University men's basketball head coach. Coach, thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me. Now, Coach, uh, Chatham entering today's play, sitting in the top half of the PAC standings. Give us your take on where Chatham is at at this point in the year. Yeah, you know, I thought we've done a pretty good job of, of getting better throughout the year. Um, one of the things we want to do early is play a challenging non-conference schedule to prepare us for the grind of league play. Um, and I thought playing those tough games early has definitely helped us. And I think we're hitting, you know, a pretty good stride right now going into the second half of league play. And in, in the men's field in the PAC, it boasts several teams with quite a bit of experience. Your team is one of those, a lot of returning experience and quality experience at that. Uh, a year removed from making the PAC championship game, how beneficial is it to have that kind of experience on tap? Yeah, it's definitely big to have guys that have played in big games um, and have that experience to go through the grind of the season. Um, you know, some of our better players have been here now for two, three years. So it's definitely helped to have the experience. And they're doing a great job of teaching our new guys um, how every single day matters and how competing every day matters. Um, and they're, they've done a great job of being leaders. And before we talk about the returnees, the most explosive newcomer to the team, Isaiah Smith, he's a transfer out of Mount Union, one of the top three point shooters in the PAC. And what kind of addition has Smith been to what is already a very good three point shooting team? Yeah, Isaiah has been terrific for us, and not only offensively, but defensively, too. Um, you know, he's one of the best on-ball defenders in the league. And when he's playing defense like that, it really sets the tone for us defensively. You know, he, he causes chaos just by pressing the basketball. You know, and it, and it takes teams out of their, out of their offense. Um, and then on the offensive end, he's a, you know, terrific shooter. I mean, he can get his shot off, you know, kind of really whenever he wants. Um, and not only being a really good shooter, I think him and Blaine maybe might be tied for – leading our team in assists. He's done a great job of finding his own shot, but j just as well, you know, he got he gets guys a lot of great shots and, you know, his play down the stretch would be big for us. And headlining the list of returnees, you have Marcus Cintron, uh, who's the two-time All-PAC pick, 2020 PAC Newcomer of the Year when he first joined Chatham. You know, how explosive and talented of a player is Cintron? Yeah, Marcus is a very talented player. He He's become a complete offensive player now. Um, you know, just even looking back at last year, he shot 50 from the floor, 40 from three and 90 from the free throw line. Right. And this year he's doing just the same. I was just looking at his numbers. Like he's high 40s from the uh, floor. He's 48 from three and 80 from the free throw line. Um, so he can score in a variety of ways. He gets the rim. He has an excellent mid range game. Then obviously he's one of the best three point shooters in the league. So you know, he's really turned himself into a terrific offensive player. And it's just going to show, you know, that, that's his hard work. He's in the gym every single day working on his game, um, and, and it's showing now. Um, and I think what he's, he's really improved on is defensively. You know, he's one of our best positional defenders. Um, he's doing a great job this year of using angles to keep guys in front. Um, and it's, that's great to see because I think he's really improved defensively, and it's really helping us out here down the stretch. Junior Simon Boyer, he's averaging 15 points per game. And, and like Cintron, another devastating perimeter shooter. How does Boyer's presence maybe take some pressure off of guys like Smith and Cintron? Yeah, Simon's one of our more versatile players um, on the offensive and defensive side. Um, you know, offensively, he's one of our better guys that can score inside and out. You know, obviously, he's a terrific, you know, three-point shooter. Um, but he's doing a great job this year of attacking the rim and finishing on the rim and getting to the free throw line. You know, because we're so perimeter oriented, we need some guys that, you know, attack the rim and get to the free throw line. And you know, he's really accepted that role. You know, when he gets somebody on his hip, he's really hard to keep in front. Um, he's become a much, you know, better finisher. Um, and defensively, you know, he's he's very versatile for us. There's one game, you know, we're asking the guard a 6-5 post. And then the next game, we're asking the guard, a, you know, a 6-1 guy on the perimeter. He does a great job both ends. So, you know, he's big for us just being so versatile on the offensive defensive side. The facilitator of the team, point guard Blaine Gartley, won a WPIAL title in high school in Mount Lebanon. Now in year two with Chatham after transferring in from WNJ. How much more comfortable is Gartley now running the offense in year two with the Cougars? Yeah, Blaine knows our offense inside and out. Um, he's basically like another coach on the floor. And, um, you know, his motor is, is so high. He can impact the game without scoring a single point. Um, you know, he's a terrific playmaker. He's an excellent defender. Um, and I'll give him the benefit of the doubt right here. At 5'10", you know, he's averaging almost seven rebounds a game. You know, at probably any level, that's probably hard to find. Um, you know, so his energy and his motor on the floor, you know, it just helps us out so much. 
Um, and I think this year what he's really done well is, is taking advantage of, of scoring too. You know, he's really hard to keep in front. He's doing a great job finishing at the rim. Um, he does a great job of finding guys and get guys open shots. Um, you know, he's a, he's a big part of this team. And, you know, when he's playing at a high level, like it, it makes us hard to guard. The elder statesman of the team, grad student Nick Bomar, uh, kind of rounding out your starting lineup. A guy who does a little bit of everything as well and does it all with the, with great energy. Uh, it, you know, what kind of energy and leadership does Bomar bring to the team? Yeah, Bo's done a great job providing leadership throughout the year. I mean, I can't say enough. He plays so hard every single second he's out on that floor. And a lot of things he does in the game doesn't show up in the box score. You know, diving on the floor for loose balls, taking charges, making extra passes. Um, you know, he, he's done a great job of filling that role of, you know, really relishing making little plays that turn to winning games. Um, and the same thing with Bo. I mean, we're playing, you know, smaller this year and he's really accepted playing the five spot for us. You know, every single night he's battling a six, five, six, 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 seven, six, eight guy. Right. And he's making them work, you know, on every single possession. Right. On the flip side, offensively, he's really improved. So those guys got to guard him on the perimeter now. Right? And it gives us an advantage. A guy who returned to the lineup in late December, senior Brandon Lavernia. Yeah. Uh, how much of a boost is it to have him back? A uh, huge boost, huge boost. I mean, Brandon's an excellent offensive player. He really gives us some scoring off the bench. Um, he can really score in bunches. You know, he's a really good shooter. You know, he's great attacking off the bounce. Um, excellent mid-range game and a really good playmaker too. So, you know, having Brandon off the bench is just going to help us a lot. You know, throughout the the second league uh, sort of league play. You know, he's a guy we're going to look for. You know, to carry us when we get come off the bench. And we talked earlier last season, the Cougars reaching the PAC championship game, unfortunately falling in the title tilt to W and J, but with so many guys that are back from last year's team, how much does that game serve as a motivator for this year's group? It's, it's definitely ser- served as a motivation. I mean, it's, you know, safe to say that that game hurt us last year. Um, and those guys remember that and it's been a motivation, you know, since the start of our preseason workouts. Um, but obviously, you know, what happened last year is over with, you know, we got to focus on this year and this year's team, but it's given our guys, you know, really good experience playing in those big games. Um, so hopefully when we get to, you know, some big playoff games, you know, they remember that, that atmosphere, they remember that feeling, they remember how hard you have to play every single possession, you know, to win big games like that. And to get back to the PAC championship and win it, what does Chatham need to do to get that done? You know, right now we just got to focus on our process of improving every single day. You know, the second half of league play is going to be a grind. You know, you look from, you know, teams one through 11, you know, anyone can beat anybody, right? So every single day you got to bring it, you got to compete, you got to play hard, you got to stick to your game plan. Um, that's what we're really focusing on now, just focusing on us. Um, I think we can just focus on, focus on us, you know, you know, get better each day, be ready to compete, you know, and take every single game seriously. You know, we'll be in a good spot towards the end of the year. It's head coach Dave Richards of the Chatham Cougars. Coach, thanks so much for your time and good luck to your team the rest of the way. Thanks for having me, Randy. We'll have the second half of today's game when we come back in just a moment.